With digital painting, you can be so much more creative because you have all these tools and the undo button. <laughs> How to Color Comics with Rochelle Rosenberg, paid for by M&M's. Hi, I'm Rochelle Rosenberg and I'm a color artist for Marvel Comics. Today I'm going to show you my top tips for coloring this M&M's custom comic cover. I've been coloring Marvel Comics for 12 years. For me, coloring is so rewarding because I'm part of a team that helps bring the story to life. It's something I've wanted to do since I was a little girl. So it's my dream come true. Covers are a huge part of comics because the cover is really the first thing the reader sees. That's what's gonna get them to like pick that book up off the shelf. So for this cover, the M&Ms really pop off the page and that's really what I wanted to go for with them being the heroes of the comic. So my first step uh, when I get a cover is to evaluate the line art. Sometimes there's some grayscale in there, and generally I will make sure everything is black and white. With this cover, the artist did a great job, so I didn't need to make any adjustments to it. So when I get line art, I send it off for flatting. I like to describe it as coloring it as you would a coloring book. You can use the lasso tool and the pencil tool to do cleanup. You're literally filling in the lines. The entire M&M, arms, legs, hands, feet, eyes, when flatting, you don't have to use the exact colors that you're gonna be working with. They're completely random colors. I'll save these flats on a separate layer. And if an editor needs a change, I can quickly make that change without having to recolor the entire M&M. So my next step is I lay out the base colors, basically transitioning the flats to the local colors that I'm gonna be using for this cover. I tend to work dark to light. What I'll often do is I'll darken the colors up a bit, not too much because things tend to print darker. So after base coloring, then we go on with the rendering. Rendering is the part where things really start to look three-dimensional. You have the like middle highlights and high highlights. It really helps things pop off the page. A great example of highlights is my run on Iron Man. One of the challenges with coloring Iron Man is he is all metal, which requires doing lots of added extra highlights and reflective light to help make him look metallic and shiny. There's so many different ways you can color a comic. I've come from an oil painting background, and so I kind of like the more painterly approach using more like texturized brushes. With the software I use, I'm able to create brushes that replicate certain things. It's almost like a stamp. So you can adjust it so it softens the edges and creates more of like, like a painterly texture. Next up would be special effects. In this case, we did a glows to the beakers and then onto the robot's eyes and chest. I also added in some shine from the sun beaming through the window on my series, uh, Moon Knight and Vengeance of Moon Knight. What I was able to do was really use glows and get really creative with the nighttime lighting. So it's a whole rainbow of color. Along with um, adding glows, I will also do color holds. With a color hold, I'm actually coloring in the black line itself. And I thought this was perfect with the smoke because it really helps soften up that line art. Knowing when a piece is done is probably one of the hardest things in comics because as an artist, it's never finished. What I try to look at is, did I touch all the shapes? Is everything got some kind of like highlight or shadow? And then, you know, does it all look unified? Once I look over everything and make sure everything is like rendered, the final step is to sign my name. I love the storytelling aspect of comics. And I think as a colorist, you're a crucial part of that process. My hope for readers when they see my work is that it captivates them and brings them into the story and it creates that emotional bond with the character. Want to see more of Rochelle's amazing work? Check out this reading list on Marvel Unlimited, where you can get access to over 30,000 Marvel comics and counting. And be sure to check out Small Town Big Trouble, the all new M&M's custom comic. 
When a town is being robbed of all its color, it's up to quirky hero Purple and the M&M's team to get to the bottom of this monochromatic mystery. You can check out this comic on digital for free at marvel.com or pick up a copy at your local comic shop coming soon. M&M's for all fun kind. Oh, I can't take the bag. Is it glued in? <laughs>